I mean, the person's not there. All right. It's it's just kind of weird. It's a little surreal, but it's legit. Yeah, but it's it was uh, the funny part was this, uh, there was a whole time where we had to like skin like the torso and the back and everything. You know, yep. Buffalo Bill that thing up, and uh, it just took so long with yep. the little scalpel and stuff, and it was, it was just he had to get the skin off. Right. So. I, I remember I, I brought in a deer knife and I'm up there and I'm just skinning it out, skinning it out. And it was, I did it really quickly. And then all the other groups, we had like another, you know, 15 tables or whatever. Yeah. And they were just like, they all paid me like 20 bucks to skin, <laughs> skin nice. the back of Like, that was good. I mean, because it was just taking everybody so long and they just, they're like, they just weren't doing it right. <laughs> so I can say I've done that. So just, I mean, odd. while you were doing it, did you, you know, did you say the phrase? What, it rubs the lotion on its skin? It puts the lotion on its skin, skin, or else it gets the hose again. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been... Oh, yeah, let me go right here. That's in between. There's a couple of little poke. I'm going to do some anesthesia first here so you don't... Ow. Hopefully, ...hopefully feel too much after this. Because the other needles are a little bigger. Yeah, I know. Listen, I YouTube the crap out of everything. So, like, this whole uh, knee replacement that I have to have done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I watched all that. Oh, yeah, it's dude. just glorified carpentry. Listen, it doesn't matter. It's still the fact of the matter is I know what they're going to do while I'm under that knife. Well, I just, I put my gallbladder off to the point it almost killed me. I just don't like the whole idea of everybody else is in charge of you and you're just laying there. Well, you're a doctor. This is your profession. Control I can understand freak, that. You know, I was just like, no, I can I understand that. But you I know what? Imagine. They're going to drill holes in my bones. Yeah, I've got an ACL. And, and they're gonna they're gonna chip off parts of my bone. And yeah. Yeah, but look where you're at right now. You're pretty much bone on bone. Oh, I've been bone on bone for years. Doctor Doctor Howard told me that if I ever had the barest amount of pain, I had to come see him. I laughed at his face and said, "That's not gonna happen, Doc." Yeah. Said it took me eight years to get over, get even here and here to get an arthroscopy. He's high. He's like a. You know bad what man. happens? I mean, they like last like. 15 to 20 years, years I know. Yeah. I know. That's why he's trying then, to get me closer to 40. Yep. Yeah. And then the second one, hopefully it sticks, but the third one's have a notoriously high failure rate. Well, you know, the funny part so, is, is that I'm probably not going to last that, last that, you know, 15 or 20 years after the second one, considering I'll be like 60. Yeah. We can only hope. How much does that one hold? Ten. You always pull off more than you got. I don't know if you quite noticed this, but there's quite a bit. Yeah. I'm probably going to get another larger one and just get some more. That's, I, I support that idea. I didn't think I was going to get that much. Yeah. But at least it's that yellow zero sanguine stuff. Do you see that, folks? That was 10 cc's right there, and we're going to get a larger needle. Yay me. I'm gonna have that image stuck in my head now.
What? You and a cadaver hit your knife. Yeah. Knee me up on it. And... Yeah. <laughs> it's bad because you know I'm I'm but a really visual it person. Because like, like, it was such a chore, and you're just like, man, I gotta get this off. You know, yeah. if you're in there long enough, you don't want to be there any more than you have to. I mean, who doesn't like the stink of cadavers? You know. No, it's that for my all that preservatives. All well, right. But you stink like it the whole time that you're in the course. Exactly. You can't get the smell off you. Right. Listen, I got it stuck. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> There's fuzzies. drain my own knees. Well, you have the training to do so, so... Yeah, this is just from the prep injection. If I had the training wow, to do it, I would also do this. it. Go a lot in here. Yeah, this is the first time anybody's ever drained it. The last, I, well, I take that back, I would assume that, you know, Dr. Howard had done it when he did the arthroscopy, but that was also two years ago. Ew. leaves enough space. I don't like to introduce a whole lot of extra fluid when I'm doing it in the 